Hello everybody! Welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet my drawstring backpack. For this tutorial you will need 5.5 millimeter yarn, 5.5 millimeter hook, scissors, a darting needle, you'll need an iron, some fabric, and I used a sewing machine, but I'm sure you can hand stitch the fabric. So let's get started. So first things first, we're going to need to make 14 granny squares. So we're going to start with a magic ring. If you don't know how to make a magic ring, I have a little tutorial on my channel. Now that we have our magic ring, we're going to chain two then double crochet one and two. Then we're gonna chain one, then we're gonna double crochet three, then chain one, Double crochet three more. Then chain one. Then double crochet three more. Chain one, pull closed the ring, and slip stitch. Then what I like to do is turn it over, pull it tight, tie it, and then cut off the tail. Now to start our second round, we're going to chain two, then double crochet into the little hole we made with our chain one, double crochet three into the same hole. Then chain two then double crochet into the same hole we just put our three other double crochets. One, two, three. Now we're gonna chain one then we're going to do the same thing we just did here, but in the next hole. So double crochet three times. One, two, three. Then chain two and double crochet three more into the same hole. And after you crochet your last three, you're gonna chain one, and then you're going to do the same thing you just did with these two corners in these last two holes. And I will meet back up with you when you're done. All right, now that you're done with your three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain one, you're going to slip stitch in the first double crochet that you made. Not this chain, but the first double crochet. Now for our third round, we're going to chain two. And then we're going to do the same thing we did the first time. We're going to do three double crochet. Chain one. 
then chain two, then three more double crochet. Now we're gonna chain one, and now you can see you have these holes in the middle. So all we're gonna do for that is put three double crochet. Then chain one, and do the same thing that you did the first time. Three double crochet. Chain two. Three more double crochet. And it's the same thing. Uh, chain one. It's the same thing over and over again. Three double crochet in this hole, chain one, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. So, give out to the beginning and I will meet you there. All right, I'm back to my last corner and you might be a little confused here because it looks weird, but all we're gonna do is double crochet two into this hole. And the reason that we're only gonna double crochet two instead of double crocheting three is because this is where our chain two was in the beginning, and the chain two counts as a double crochet. So now that we've double crocheted two, we're going to slip stitch in the first double crochet that we made. Now, one more round of this, we're going to double crochet, sorry, chain two, then we're going to do the corner, just like we did before, double crochet one, two, three, chain two, double crochet, three more. Three. Chain one. Now instead of having just the one hole, we have two holes, but it's still exactly the same as we did with one hole. All you do is double crochet three in them. Double crochet three, chain one, double crochet three, chain one. So do the same thing we've been doing in the corners and the two holes, and then I'll be back with you when you're done. All right, I'm back to the beginning. And again, you might be a little bit confused because it looks kind of weird, but we're going to do the same thing. I did my three double crochet, chain one, and then I'm going to do two double crochet in this hole. Because remember, we did the chain two in the beginning. That counts as the third double crochet. And then we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch that we did. And then voila, there is your finished granny square. So I'm just going to cut a little tail, bring it out, and then I'm going to bring the tail to the back of it. So now you're going to need to make 13 more of these granny squares. You make them whatever color you want, just as long as you have 14 granny squares. So I will meet back with you when you're done making your granny squares. Also, I just wanted to say that I'm adding these spiral granny squares to my bag 
and I got the tutorial off of YouTube from Happy Berry Crochet's YouTube channel. It's her spiral granny square video. Now that I'm all done crocheting my granny squares, I like to lay them out like this. This is the front, this is the bottom, these are the sides, and then this is the back. After I lay them all out, I like to flip them to the bad side, so I flipped all of these to the bad side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch all of these together. So we slip stitch these together, these together, all of them together. I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, so I want to put these two granny squares together so I have the good sides touching and line them up like that. And grab your crochet hook, make a slip stitch. I mean, a slip knot. Now, you stick it into one side and then stick it into the other side. Grab the yarn that's attached to the ball, grab it, pull through both of them and then pull through the loop on your hook. Do it again. One, two, pull it through, and then pull it through again. It should be making this little pattern on the top of it. I'll do it one more time. Push through one stitch, push through the next stitch, pull through, slip stitch. So do that all the way across this. Okay, as you can see, I have finished putting all of my squares together and I went around and tied and cut off all of the little tails that were still on the squares. It looks something like this when you turn it right side out. There's the front, here's the back. So the next step that we're going to do, uh, we're going to sew a fabric lining on the inside of this bag. I'll show you how to do that now. Okay, I cut two pieces of fabric for the lining. Both of these are 14 by 10. And then I ironed the seam down and clipped it on both sides so i'm going to sew across these to keep the seam down and then i decided that i was going to also make a pocket for this i cut this piece six by seven and then i uh, ironed on all the seams and then i'm going to sew all the way around it so two pieces of fabric 14 by 10 and then this little pocket is 6 by 7. So I'm going to go sew all these seams and I'll meet back up with you. Okay, I'm all done sewing the seams and I also sewed the pocket onto the white side. So now what you're going to do is clip both sides together, make sure that the bad side's on the outside, so the part with the um, excess fabric. You're going to pin all the way around and you're going to sew all the way around your fabric. Okay, I've sewn both the pieces together. Now for the part that is a little bit more difficult. We're going to sew this on the inside of our bag. I'll show you how to pin it now. Okay, so what I've done is I put the fabric on the inside of my bag and then I lined up the edges of the granny square and the fabric and then I clipped it like this. You want to make sure that it, you do that all the way around and then I will show you what to do next on the sewing machine. Okay so all I do is I put it crochet side down and then I'm going to sew all the way around the bag like so. Make sure that you line the edges up good because you don't want them to be sticking out or anything. If it's not perfect it's fine. 
because you're going to put something on top of that so you probably won't even really be able to notice but now all you need to do is sew all the way around this make sure you're careful of your edges and i'll see you when i'm done now that we're all done sewing our fabric on the inside of our bag we are going to make the top of our bag we're going to start with a slip knot And then chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then single crochet in the next stitch. Single crochet all the way down. Now that you've single crocheted all the way to your last stitch, chain one, turn, and then single crochet all the way down. You're going to keep doing this until you've made your crochet piece long enough to go all the way around this bag. So finish that and then I'll meet back up with you. Okay, I'm all done with my crochet piece. I made sure that it fits all the way around the bag. So all I'm going to do is cut this yarn and then pull my hook out. And then I'll probably weave this end in later. Next, what I like to do is take these little stitch markers and I like to use them to keep my uh, crochet band where I want it. So I just stick it through both of them and then close it. And I will do that around to keep it how I like it. Okay, now that I've hooked my band on all the way around, I'm gonna show you how I sew it on. I've already gotten it started a little bit so that it's easier to show, but all I do all the way around is, let me zoom you in. I put my darting needle through one stitch in the band and then I go on the inside and I put it through a stitch on the inside. It's going to be a little difficult to do the stitches on the inside because you sewed through them, but just make sure that you get through a stitch because you have to make sure you secure this band super super well because it's going to be pulled on because you're going to attach the straps to it. So just keep doing the same thing through the stitch on the band and then through the stitch on the inside. And I have it where the two ends attach in the back and I'll show you how to attach those two together next. Okay, I'm all done sewing around, so now I'm just going to sew these two pieces together. So how I do that is I just start at the bottom, and I go through both of them, go on the inside, pull it, and go through this side. And just keep doing this all the way up. When I'm finished sewing all the way up, I'm just gonna sew all the way back down now. Though we're all done sewing the band on, we're going to make the holes for the drawstring. As you can see, I marked out all the spots that I want the holes to be. You can see here. These two holes here are going to be where the drawstring comes out so you can cinch it up. So I'm going to show you how to make them now. Start with the slip knot. Then we're going to slip stitch on. like that then we're going to half double crochet into the same stitch 
And then the next stitch. All the way to our next stitch marker. Oop. Now that we're in the stitch, right before our stitch marker, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to half double crochet in the stitch next to the stitch marker. And there is our hole. You're going to keep doing this for all of your stitch markers. You're going to half double crochet to the stitch right next to the stitch marker. Then you're going to chain one and you're going to half double crochet in the stitch right next to it. So I will see you when you're done. I'm finished making my drawstring holes. As you can see, I've taken all of my stitch markers out. So the next round, all we're going to do is half double crochet all the way around. And then after that, we are going to make our drawstring. I'll show you how to do that now. To make my drawstring, I took my ball of yarn and I took some off of it and rolled up a little ball. And then we're going to take both strands, line them up a bit, and then make a slip knot with both of them. Stick our hook through, pull tight. And then you're going to crochet with these two strands. So what you're going to do is uh, chain 100 for the drawstring. So you just crochet, chain like this with both these strands and chain 100. And I'll be back when you're done with that. I'm all done making my drawstring and I stringed it through all of my holes. You just start here, go in, go out, go in, go out. And at the ends of both of them, I put some beads and I tied a knot so that the beads don't come off like this. Now, the only step we have left is to make the back straps. I'll show you how to do that now. So for the back straps, it's basically the exact same thing that we did with the drawstring. You're going to take two balls of yarn, make a slip knot, and put it on your hook. And for these back straps, you're going to chain 70. I'll come back once I'm done chaining 70. Okay, I'm all done chaining 70. You don't have to chain 70. 70 is just what fits my back. You can always do it a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. This is just what fits me. So to finish this off, we're just going to single crochet all the way back down. First stitch all the way down. I'll meet you back up to sew them in. So I put stitch markers on the top and the bottom so I could line it up. I did the same thing on this side. I've already sewed this side on, but I'm going to show you how I sewed it on. So I put these two stitch markers in, I made sure they were straight, and then I just hooked through the strap and closed the stitch marker and then I'm gonna get my needle and thread cut off this little piece and then get my needle and thread And then you want to make sure that this is super, super tight because it's going to be hanging off your back and supporting all of the weight. Once you get a couple stitches in it, you can take off the stitch marker and then just keep going through it. until you feel like it's secure enough. Okay, 
Okay, I sewed through it a whole bunch of times, and now to finish it off, I just go through some of these back stitches and tie knots so that I know it's extra secure. Make sure to be careful of the drawstring that you don't accidentally thread it because then you mess up everything. Tie it a couple of times and then cut it off. Just like that. And then for the bottom, grab a new piece of thread. and string it through. And do basically the exact same thing on the bottom. So far I like to start kind of far away. It's a little difficult to see because it's black. So do the same thing that you did on the top, go through it a whole bunch of times. Then stitching through this bottom, and I went and put my thread through the same hole that I first started in. And we're going to tie these two, the ends, together a couple times. And then we're going to cut off the shorter end. And then thread it underneath somewhere and just pull it through a little bit so it stays in maybe even tie it up here a bit and that is it thank you for watching my video be sure to like and subscribe and i will see you next time